Are you guys ready to get rigged? Okay, that was a bad joke. But seriously, a new company, I think they're a new company anyway. I've never heard of them before. Anyway, their company name is Rigland, which is pretty clever. I mean, you got Disneyland, you've got a lot of lands, I guess. Um, anyway, Rigland is a new company and they just made a new cage for my favorite camera, the Panasonic GH5. It'll also fit the GH5S for those who need the low light GH5 that just came out. Anyway, they sent me one of their cages to review, so I'm gonna do that today. This is the cage right here. It's one piece, and then it has like a quick release plate as well that comes with it. Uh, they did say that there's gonna be a top handle for it, which goes right here. There's also gonna be a rail system that you can get with this, but this is just the cage right now. The cage is gonna retail for $89.99, and it's gonna be available on Amazon, I believe. I don't think it's available yet, but as soon as it is, I will make sure and put a link to it in the description of this video. Anyway, this cage is really nice. Um, it's not too heavy. You know, you want your cage to add a little weight to your camera, but you also love shooting on these cameras because they are light and they're, and they're not heavy. So you want it to protect it and add a little weight for handheld stuff, but at the same time, you don't want it to be too crazy heavy. So I really like the fact that it's not, it's, it's a, I would say it's kind of a mid-weight uh, cage. Um, it's really, the build quality is amazing as far as I can tell. Like, I mean, just holding it in your hand, you can tell it's really well built. It also has this, like I said, quick release plate, which is how you attach your camera to the cage. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get it attached. So this kind of goes in here. Not gonna tighten it up too much just so we can check this out. And then this just slides right in, pretty cool. And then this tightens here on the side. Which is nice. See, I'm tightening it, loosening it. What's happening right now? Um, I think I'm tightening it. Nope, not tightening it. So at some point we tighten this. There, it's tight. Cool. Awesome. All right. So then you can put any. Um, you can screw any other plate if you have another quick release plate system like I use Manfrotto, you can screw that at the bottom there. And this is the cage. Um, it's really nice. You have uh, accessibility to all your panels, like you got your side panel for SD cards. Obviously you have your battery compartment here, which is accessible. Um, you have the accessibility for your uh, HDMI and your headphone jack, your mic port, all here on the side. Um, I think, I'm not sure it, if it'll work with the XLR uh, accessory that you can put on here on the, on the hot shoe, but it looks like it will be able to fit it just based on how it looks. Um, let's put a lens on this and kind of feel how it would feel out in the field. There's a lot of feels. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. One of the things that I'm not a fan of is uh, the edges of the case are pretty sharp, it seems like. But if you have the top handle, that's not a big deal because you'll be holding it from the top handle most likely and not really necessarily gripping from the sides. Another thing that I'm um, interested in is the fact that you have to use the quick release plate. I like it because uh, it does allow you, if you need to take it off the cage, to quickly release it from the cage. But at the same time, I feel like more worried that it might slip off or something like that. That's my only concern about that. But overall, I mean, this cage is pretty nice. The price is great. I mean, under $100 is fantastic. There's not a whole ton of cages 
of this quality that are under that. A lot of them are like half cages, but this is a full cage. It goes all the way around your camera. Um, as far as mounting points, there's so many mounting points. I mean, you can rig this thing up for days. Uh, and I'm sure the top handle will also have some mounting points. There's a hot shoe plate or thing right here. Or cold shoe. I don't know. Hot shoe, cold shoe. I always get this confused. But it's, yeah, it's really solid. Um, I appreciate the folks at uh, Rigland for sending this to me. I'm excited to, to try it out on a shoot, actually, and, uh, and really see how it goes. So, uh, yeah, this is, yeah, this is pretty nice. Definitely check it out once they release them. And um, I'm excited to see the accessories as well. I guess it's going to have a top handle as well as a rail system, which will be really helpful. I think the, yeah, the rail system's right there. And um, that'll be helpful in terms of rigging up map boxes or follow focuses and things like that. So yeah, this is a solid cage. I'm excited and I think the company name is clever, I will say. Uh, so I'm excited to see what, um, what kind of stuff they you know, continue to release. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, that is my uh, Rigland review of the GH5 cage. I hope you guys enjoyed it and check out this cage when you get a chance. See you later.